In this video, we're going to be rewriting a difference quotient. And we're going to do it by rationalizing the numerator. So let's first talk about what a difference quotient is. This is an example of a difference quotient. Difference quotients, sorry, difference quotients occur frequently in calculus, and often they need to be rewritten in an equivalent form that can be evaluated when h equals zero. Now a point of note here is that the equivalent form is not going to be simpler than the original form, but it has the advantage that it is defined when h equals zero. And so what we see here, the square root of x plus h minus the square root of x all over h, that's just one example of a difference quotient. So our example is actually going to be of a different difference quotient. And here, we're going to rewrite this difference quotient by rationalizing the numerator. So we're going to begin by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by its conjugate. And remember, we are rewriting the numerator, so we're taking the conjugate of the numerator here. Now we could FOIL that out, or we could remember that conjugates allow us to take just the a squared minus the b squared. Or in this case, our a value would be the square root of n plus h, and our b value would be the 3. So now that we have those written down, let's go ahead and we're going to square those. And of course, we're going to subtract them, just as it states we should. So here, we know that a square root and a square are inverses of each other, and that we're going to have 9 plus h is our answer here. And we know that 3 squared is 9, and we still have that subtraction right there. So now we're going to simplify this, and this is going to give us what we're going to write down. So when we simplify 9 plus h minus 9, we actually end up with just the h, because 9 minus 9 is 0. So this is what we're going to rewrite up here in our numerator, okay? So let's recap. So we multiplied the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate which took us to this spot right here, which got us our simplified answer, which we are now going to write back in fraction form. So on the numerator, we have our h, and now we just need to write down our denominator. So here we have h times the square root of 9 plus h, plus 3. And here, before we distribute that h on the denominator, we should notice something very interesting. That our numerator and our denominator both have an h in common. So we can see the h divided by h is a 1, and so we'll be able to get rid of those, and have 1 over the square root of 9 plus h plus 3 and we are now finished. We have rewritten this by rationalizing the numerator. 